so you meet someone after a while of being alone and then from the get-go you connect with this person so much so that you can feel that the connection is mutual they say all of the right thing they excite you you feel so happy in this relationship and you're already thinking about the many positive possibilities that could become of this relationship and then all of a sudden they begin to pull away that leaves you kind of stranded and wondering what could have happened what could have gone wrong when everything seemed to be going right they don't respond to your text messages quickly as they do anymore they don't call you back anymore hanging out becomes a chore and you just keep wondering in this video i'm going to talk about one of the potential reasons why they pulled away some of the mistakes we can avoid when this happens and of course the appropriate response to give to a situation like this hello guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is wendy zil let's get into it people tend to pull away from relationship most times when they sense that you're trying so hard this is them feeling like but i have not shown this person the better part of me i have not really earned this love from this person and then when they feel that you're trying so hard to keep them you're trying so hard to maintain that relationship they begin to pull away they feel that you find them so valuable and once that happens in their own eyes you become less valuable and then they begin to pull away from you to study you from afar because they feel that intense energy is kind of overwhelming them they don't understand why you could love them so much in a short period of time and they begin to pull away just to observe you from afar now to the mistake we often make when people pull away from us because you have found this person so valuable in your life because you feel there is something that this person gives to you that you have not experienced in a long while the one thing that wants to set in is the fight instinct now you want to fight for this love you want to fight for this affection you want to fight for that feeling that thing that gets you so excited you don't want to leave you don't want to let go and the reason why this fight instinct set in so soon is because of the following reasons number one scarcity mindset especially when you do not get to meet someone as lovely as that so often when you eventually meet a person like that who just gives you a little taste of what it feels like to be loved you want to hold on to it and you don't want to let go because you don't believe that you're going to meet any other person anytime soon and you're not willing to wait for another month or another two months or another year to be able to experience this love that you have just experienced another reason why we fight so much is because of impatience now you've gotten a taste of what it feels like to be loved and you don't want to wait another day and you're like if it's right in front of me why should i have to wait for another year to meet someone else why can't i have it now and then you intensify your fight for this affection that you feel low self-esteem now you don't really believe in yourself that you're actually so valuable that you can find someone who would love you for you and just be there for you so you fight so blindly you go all in you apply the aggressive measure you know you call you stalk them you do all of that just because you don't want to let go of that thing that you have tasted. Now, I'd like for you to pause for a while and just think about the reason why you value this person so much. Is it their attractiveness, the intelligence, the charisma, the connection you felt? All of those things are good, but none of these things determine what is going to make a valuable partner. Now, maybe you're thinking about it and you can't even really place your hand on that thing that made you so connected to this person at this point you're wondering wait a minute i don't even know why i'm so attracted to this person now what are the things that make someone so valuable in a relationship they are consistent they don't pull away from you they are great communicators they have empathy they are reliable honest and supportive so when you look at it and you begin to think in your mind this person that you're so attracted to that you're fighting for do they embody all of these qualities feeling that you connect so well is good but it's not the only thing that can guarantee that someone is a valuable partner in a relationship 
let's look at it from this perspective if you want to start a business and you have a friend that you can hang around with you can just all day you can go to places and just have that great conversations with does that mean that that person is going to be a good business partner i doubt it because relationship is a company it's a company of two and it takes two people to build two people who have values who have these values that i have just mentioned so you look at yourself and you actually embody all of these qualities that makes a great partner you're reliable you're consistent you will have empathy you're a great communicator you're a good supporter and you just realize that oh this person actually does not deserve me if they have empathy they're not going to pull away at the end of the day regardless of the fact that you feel so connected to them and you just want to hang around them because they say all of the right things to you doesn't make them a valuable partner and now to the appropriate response you give to a situation like this is that you begin to reevaluate yourself and you begin to think about all of the qualities you embody do they even embody these qualities and then you begin to realize that this person wasn't even going to make a great partner so it's even a good thing that it pulled away because they're going to waste your time if they come into your life and they are not ready to be with you they are not ready to be consistent and be supportive and just be with you then it's just a sheer waste of time so the best thing you do at this point is to be confident in yourself and then channel all of that energy into you and focus on other areas of your life you deserve to be with someone who is of high value who carries and embodies the qualities of a good partner nobody wants to waste his time on a relationship that is going to end anyways someone's uncertainty about you is not an indication of your lack of value one of the greatest things you can have in a relationship is their certainty about you the fact that they trust you and they believe you that you're not just going to pull away from them anytime soon this brings me to this part where i like to dwell a little bit is it wrong to fight for someone in a relationship no it's not wrong to fight for someone in a relationship but you need to know what you're fighting for i mean you can't be fighting for someone who doesn't even value you who doesn't even embody the qualities of a great partner if you're fighting in a relationship let it be because you're already one your minds are one you're together in one space and you're fighting an external force not an internal force it's a different thing when i'm fighting to get this man back because i don't get the excitement i get from him anymore i don't get the feelings i get from him anymore it's a different thing entirely and then we fighting together as a force against an external force is a different thing entirely i'll take myself for example when i met my boyfriend then who is my husband today you know we were just dating and i didn't really take it serious but when it got to the point where it became serious that was when our families became involved and that was when we realized that actually there are hurdles we need to fight there are hurdles we need to pass and that is based on the lines of differences in tribe so now we were fighting this together not because we were fighting ourselves we were we were joining forces together to make it possible to convince people who are involved who are going to believe us that yes actually what we have for each other is genuine and we want to pursue this relationship so those are two different things you don't fight for someone who is not fighting for you basically what i'm saying is that it's good to fight forces in your relationship but let them not be forces that are in the relationship rather let them be things that are outside hurdles that you need to cross in order to be together because you are two wholesome people who value each other and are ready to build a future together so the next time someone pulls away from you what you show them is that there is consequences for not being certain about you the fact that they are not certain about you is not your fault is their fault because they are not certain about themselves so you should be thankful that they pulled away and you should avoid the whole hassle of asking why did you pull away or acting so dramatic you don't need all of that what you do is you look inward into yourself and you just dust yourself well if he's not seeing the value in me then there is no need 
because there is consequences for coming close to somebody and then just pulling away like that. Yes, I might find you attractive, sexy, handsome, beautiful and all of that. But the moment I give myself to you and you begin to pull away, it makes me realize that you're not good for me. Because if you embody the qualities of a great partner, you're not going to pull away like that. And you're not going to leave me hanging thinking that I have done something wrong. So it means that I can have a friend that I just connect with and we just hang around. The vibe is there, but it doesn't make them the right partner for my life. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and check out the videos on the screen. I'll see you right there.